Hi, how's it going? Welcome to Code Z. In today's video, we gotta go from this to this. And as you can see, we have reversed hello to whatever this is. Why? Well, because that's what Leetcode 344 reverse string is asking us to do. As you can see, it says, write a function that reverses a string. The input string is given as an array of characters called S. And it says, you must do this by modifying the input array in place. So you gotta do this in place. Now let's see how you can actually do this. Well, the strategy is gonna be really simple. We're gonna loop through our array here and we're gonna swap the first character with the last character. And then we're gonna move on one step inward and we're gonna keep on doing this. How? Well, first of all, we're gonna define a variable called left and this is gonna be equal to the index of the first element inside of our string, meaning it's gonna be equal to zero in the beginning because the index of this letter is zero. And then we're gonna have another element called right and this is gonna be equal to the index of the last element inside of our string. And then we're just gonna do this, like so. As you can see, we swapped O and H. Previously we had this and now we have this. After we've done this, we're gonna move one step inwards, like so, meaning we're gonna increment left and decrement right. Now left is pointing to this letter that we have here and right is pointing to this letter that we have here. Then we're gonna repeat the same thing. We're gonna swap them like so. As you can see, we have swapped them and then we're gonna increment left and decrement right. Now they're pointing to the same letter, but we're still gonna swap them. So we're gonna swap this letter with itself. And then after we're done, we're gonna increment left and decrement right. And now when left is greater than right, we're gonna stop looping and we're just gonna return this as our answer. Believe it or not, this is everything we need. So let's code this in the simplest way possible. Alrighty, so first of all, we're gonna define our left variable and this is gonna be equal to zero because this is the index of the first element inside of our array. Then we're gonna define our right variable and this should be equal to the index of the last element inside of our array. And our array is S that's given to us here. So right should be equal to S dot length minus one. Then we're gonna loop through this. We're gonna say while left is smaller or equal to right, do the following. We're gonna say, we wanna swap what we have at left and what we have at right with what we have at right and what we have at left. Like so, S left, S right should be S right, S left. This is basically swapping what we have and then each time we're gonna increment left and decrement right. And this is gonna be everything because as you can see, it says, do not return anything. Now let's run this and see if we can actually pass our test cases and yep, awesome. Now let's submit this and see if we can actually pass all of the test cases that we have. Moment of truth and we got accepted. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep on coding.